We're gonna start off this video with you guys. So first of all, shout out to Bobcat for always coming back every like single day, uh, notification squad strong. He's always here watching the channel. I really am thankful for that. And of course, I mean, I should throw in uh, that guy from Finland. That kind of goes without saying if you know the channel and look in the comments yourself. He's like there every single video, every day, every live stream. So shout out to you too. I know there are a few more guys as well, but I guess we should get on with the video. Basically, I did a poll in the last video yesterday asking what you guys would like to see. I mean, it really wasn't too much. I just said new builds or continue the Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifolia or something. <laughs> and uh, you guys voted for some new cars to build. So we're just going to hop in and I'm going to find something new we can get started on. All right. I think I found our car for today. As you guys know, I already have my own Mustang completely tuned up for ESDA spec and I absolutely love it. But I think we're going to change things up this time and build this tune for the online hoppers. So this thing is just going to be more for angle, stuff like that. It doesn't have to follow any of the rules of ESDA. We can just do whatever we want with it just so that it's the best for points. All right, let's go ahead and see what we can do. What should we do for tires, though? Because we really do want wheel spin. I don't want to go complete noob and just go <laughs> race, so... I don't know, we might do some streets or some sports. Like, let's go ahead and do some streets with some mad tire size. How big can these... Okay, you know what, we're gonna go to sport. <laughs> I thought it would get way wider than that. Okay then, right? Because we don't want... Uh, we can try that. We can go with that for now. We might change it up later. Um, this thing's going to be going for some... Ah, we can tune around that. Just Let's just max that out. See what type of rims we can throw on here. Do these things... No, I thought those would look way better. <laughs> Alright, now this is where things are going to get interesting. I'm not too sure what we should do engine-wise. I guess, uh, can we throw... Yes, okay. We want, we want a good supercharger in there. Uh, we already got everything else. Not going to be engine swapping it. I guess we can just start messing around, seeing what kind of power we can put in it. I think I'm going to want a lot so I can push through like some larger sections and still drop down, take some smaller tight corners still pretty well. Surprisingly, this thing doesn't get all too much horsepower. I, I thought it would get a little bit more than it has right now. So what did we throw? Yes, we did throw some streets on here. So this thing should be able to rip through some longer sections non-stop. But around tighter ones, it might be a little bit difficult to grip up. But I'm sure we can tune around that, right? Let's come throw on here. Eh, we can do that just to make it that much better, but... Nah, let's not. Since this one isn't going to be a comp car, like I said, I don't share uh, my comp car tunes since, I mean, they're comp cars and I don't want everybody to just start taking my stuff and running it in their own competitions, maybe even against me. So since this isn't too much, I mean, I'm going to be tuning it different anyway since we're going for angle more than anything. So I'm you know, like, we can just sacrifice everything that I normally do in the comp tunes so you guys can see what I'm going to be tuning. Um, I guess it's going to be very different. What I like to do for the anti-rolls, if you go all the way to the top or bottom, see how that, like the front one is 32.17. If you go all the way up to the top, it'll just flatten it to 0 .00 and then you can bring it back down wherever. Alright, we're just finishing it up. Let's leave it a little bit open. <laughs> Not completely locked up. Let's just keep it around right there. I'll probably have to touch all of this up in just a second. Go ahead and save this. We're going to do test drive. It's already set to drift, so we can just jump right into it and uh, get sliding. See how much points we can rack up around Hockenheim, right? Think that's where I went? Yes, it is. Hockenheim ring. That's going to be awesome. I always get this track whenever I go to the lobby, so I figured I might as well tune here, right? <laughs> I want to see if... Uh, oh, this feels weird. Since I'm used to comp cars now and then jumping into something like this. Oh, it's going to need to be a little bit more responsive. But I like how this thing sounds. I didn't like how much the tow was since i gotten so used to my comp cars running nearly no tow at all. So <laughs> I think I'm going to change it up. I'm still going to bring this out a bit just to give it that little bit of bite. Hopefully... Hopefully everything works out. I touched this up a little bit. Uh, I'm not too sure how I like this so much. Since I've gotten so used to tuning for specific tracks, I just kind of want to make this a more in general tune so you guys can bring it out to whatever you want. 
Alright, I just changed a lot of stuff to do with my tire, so hopefully it feels a little bit better. We got the sports now. That's usually what I run, of course, for comps. That's ESDA stuff, so hopefully it's decent now, alright? I mean, it's tuned for street tires at the moment, so it might be as... Yeah, still definitely needs some tweaking, but it's at least a little bit better than what it was. I hate that when you get too much angle, it takes away your points. That's just stupid. Ah, oh, come on. I messed up a little bit. I love doing 360 entries, though. It's a little bit of a 360 reverse. I've done that a few times in my past. Ooh, there we go. I just finished a little tuning thing, and it actually feels a lot better. It's not going to be smooth, but it's for points, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> there we go. Just able to rip it through every gear. Come on. Oh, I transitioned early. Dang it. <laughs> That's a bad move. Ah, so I got some decent points just within that. Throwing a little quick 360 entry. Come on. Can still get. Oh, okay. Rumble strips killed. Run the friction assist on with this car. No, I'm just kidding. Ooh. Kind of close. Dang it. Yeah, we messed up that line. Come on. I know I can do so much better with this stupid car. <laughs> it's tuned just fine. I'm just not doing good at all right now all right let's just try to get one good lap i keep stopping and tuning let's just go one at least one lap without any tuning just straight all the way around i think the point start at the rumble strip oh no it was earlier than that oh gosh you messed it up now oh come on i might need to change my gear because i'd change the tires a bit it's a little bit oh my gosh we're still not even doing that great Whoops, I ran it wide each time, so I tried running it shorter, and then I just went too short. <laughs> Don't take away my points, Sticky, I'm going to spin. Okay, oh my gosh, now we're just straight. Come on. Oh my gosh, I'm a mess right now. Like, this is some crappy drifting compared, compared to my usual. This is just messed up. Come on, come on, can we get it? Yes, we did hold that out all the way through the points. Did I transition too early again? Oh, just tap, we're good. No, let's just rewind that. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh my gosh, you can hold that out in one. <laughs> come on. Jeez, this is something. I don't even think that was, oh my gosh, well, especially if I just drive off. I don't think that lap was even much better than our last one, right? That's by like a thousand better. Yeah, I think it was about that. <laughs> Been doing some more adjustments along the track once again. I think it's gotten a little bit better for angle. See, that's way smoother when I hold angle around it. That's what I was looking for. Forgot one huge thing. I was tuning the camber sort of like my comp car. As you know, some positive camber in the rear makes it a little bit faster when it sits down in the rear. But obviously, I didn't want this car to be all too fast. I was really going for some more angles so you can get more points. So I tuned the camber to be way higher negative on both sides, front or not both sides, both front and rear. All right, we nearly got 4,000 points on that first corner. Now we're just going to go into the next one. That's too fast. No, braking help. Ooh, that's why I tune the brakes the way I do. Oh, my gosh. Helps a lot. There we go. That's good. Hold this all the way out. Yeah, until we stop getting some points. We're already at 10,000. That's like more. No, we're almost halfway there to what we've been getting every single time. Uh, let's slow down for this one. I don't even know where the points start counting. Probably still going too fast. Yep. Oh, gosh. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Just barely caught it in time. <laughs> oh, my gosh. 
Oh, I'm in second gear, dang it. <laughs> I was supposed to be in third gear. Don't take away my points, don't take away my points. Oh my gosh. There we go, that's much better. Being able to hold that out helps a lot. As long as we just keep holding stuff out, never mind, because we can't hold stuff out at all in this corner for some reason. I just can't do it no matter what. <laughs> My drifting's just off right now. I've been drifting a lot earlier. I just went with Koenig and uh, saved some replays for hopefully a cinematic soon. So, should be interesting. Come on, yes, get past 40,000. Yep, 41,000. Oh, okay, I was going to say, no, there's no way I just messed it up right there. Oh my gosh, let's go ahead and cross the line real quick. And there you go, 41,000. Going to be sharing this too now. I do have to admit, it's not perfect. It, no, it's far from perfect. But it's at least something, and it held around the track pretty well, I guess. Hopefully, uh, I mean, in the future, I'm going to be doing a lot more of these, all these builds and stuff. I'm going to be continuing a lot of my comp cars too to figure out which one I want to be maining for ESDA. Once we get around to it, guess once again, if you're interested in a drift team, uh, if you watch other videos and you already know what to do, message me on, to, oh my gosh, I stalled, I just ripped the handbrake that whole time without even touching the clutch, but go ahead and message me on Twitter or Instagram, leave a comment, even on our Discord, you can go ahead and do that, the Drift Spectrum Discord, that's community for all drifters, if you're interested in ever drifting with anybody. Highly suggest you join that. Everything's found in the description. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.